back to Find Your Shore Home TV. I'm Ian Lazarus, your host, and today we're with Brian Connolly from Safe and Sound Home Inspections. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Ian. Love the Shore. Today we're going to talk about going green without going broke. Is okay. that that's that's your term? Okay. And uh, why don't you tell us a little about some of the things that you're seeing that are newer in the homes that are either helping or not helping the homeowners with their uh, uh, utilities and efficiency. Yeah, sure. We we all we get that asked that all the time during home inspection. And uh, recently, I, I I did an inspection up in the city uh, not too long ago, and it was uh, it was it was presented to us as this was a a, a greenhouse. Mm -hmm. um, it had a uh, it had a green roof, and uh, which means that you know they had basically a lawn up there, and that it was a very energy efficient house. Uh, it was it was uh, three architectural graduate students uh, from Penn's. It was their thesis. They bought a shell in, in the Fishtown section of Philadelphia, and this was going to be th this was their this this is uh, this is how they got their uh, their master's degree in architect was was how they did this house. Okay. Um, I think they got a B plus from their instructor, and we gave them a D minus. It was the most energy inefficient house I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but uh, um, a lot of things that uh, people will uh, a, a lot of things that people will do. Um, is trying to save money and reduce money, uh, you know, on their utility bills, to make right. their house more efficient. Which is, that's a good thing. But there's a lot of people that are just throwing money at this going green fad right now that are actually spending a lot of money up front and they're never getting it back in the long run. And uh, but at least they feel good, you know. So we, we we like to give during the course of a home inspection, we like to give our clients an education about their house as well as doing inspection. And our inspection takes a little longer than that because we don't just go through the house. We give them an education. Um, we actually thought of getting into energy audit for houses, and what we found during the course of taking a couple classes is the most energy efficient things that people can do for their house are also the, uh, are also the least costly, which is air sealed. Make sure your air ducts are air sealed, uh, and that means that where the where the, the metal is joined, that those tape that the joints are either have oil tape or, or have a mastic wrapped around so that it's not leaking air out as, sure. as it's running through the house. Mm -hmm. Another thing is also to insulate if, if you have ductwork in a basement, a cold, unconditioned basement, or a crawl space, or, or an attic, especially down the shore, is make sure that it's well insulated because there's no sense running your air conditioning in the uh, summertime, your, your attic's 110 degrees, and your, now your ductwork's 110 degrees, your, your, your compressor has to cool that ductwork down while it's trying to cool your house down. Sure. So your air conditioning compressor's running that much longer. Mm -hmm. um, insulation is, is, is uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, the more insulation, the better. But as it actually turns out, that 90% of all heat transfer is stopped in this first six, first six inches of insulation. So anything more than that, you're really not getting a return on the investment. So if I'm putting 15 inches of insulation in there, I've, I've, I've paid for nine more inches of insulation for only a 10% 10, 10 return on the additional how, how, does, how, how does that R rating work? Because I always see that, and I'm not really sure if it's... Nobody really, nobody's really sure how it works. The, huh. uh, the R rating is how insulation generally works is it's fluffy, and, 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 and that's why when we see people put flooring in their attics and press the insulation, they just defeated the purpose of having insulation in their attic. But it's fluffy, and the heat gets trapped somewhere along the lines. And that's where the first, the, the, the first couple inches is where 90% 90, 90 of the heat transfer is stopped. Um, air sealing, skylights in this place, you want to make sure that they're air sealed. There's a tremendous amount of heat transfer. The, with with nature, hot goes to cold. That's the way it is. There is no other way. So if we're heating this house now, there's a tremendous amount of air loss around these around these recessed lightings uh, that, that are working their way up into the attic. So mm -hmm. we're constantly paying for it. Right. Um, weather stripping and, and, and caulking around windows. People ask all the time, we want to go with a, a double pane window. We want to change out the windows. If you, if you replace your windows, do it for a cosmetic or architectural or curb appeal. Don't do it because you think you're going to get a lot of you're going to save a lot of money on your energy bill. It just turns out that it doesn't work out that way. Okay. If, if you're thinking of changing out a mid efficiency furnace for a high efficiency furnace, uh, crunch the numbers because the the 88 percent mid efficiency furnace costs about 2,500 3,000 installed, and the 94 percent high efficiency furnace probably costs about six seven thousand dollars installed. So right there, you have to make up four thousand forty five hundred dollars you're in the hole. So if I was a financial planner, and this is how I present it to our clients, if you give me $4,500 now, maybe in 22 years you'll break even. 
I wouldn't be in business as a financial planner. But as a heating contractor, if I say, hey, give me an extra $4,500 now, and maybe in 20 years, you may get a return on your investment by the, the money saved on your uh, utility bill. The, the fact of the matter is, is you're never going to get that money back. You know, but if, I, if you're going green, it's a great way to make money. Uh, but you want to be smart about it. There, there are ways to go green and, and help the environment and save money. But there's also ways that everybody's just growing green, throwing a ton of money at the latest mm -hmm. fad, and they're losing money that they're never going to get back. And if they thought about it in financial numbers, they would never waste their time on it. So do your homework. Sounds Hire a good, good home inspector. All right. And use a great realtor. Great. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank it's you. Great seeing you. Yeah, it's good Welcome. being here. Hopefully we'll see you down next summer. Next summer. Sir, almost almost, almost to I'm down spring. here every other weekend. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for taking a look at findyourshowroom.tv, and we'll see you soon.